Every day, we open our newspaper to such articles validating the reality that is climate change. Flooding, storms, extreme heat and droughts have become commonplace. It is happening and it is happening right now. An engineer from the God's own country, Kerala, has taken matters into his own hands to find cost-effective solutions to build a climate-resilient house and living sustainably. My name is Vargis Daniel. I am the CEO of REN Solutions. Collaborating with his architect, Anupa Alex, they both built a prototype, beginning with a floating house. The house floats on top of the water, anchored on all four sides and is exposed to direct sunlight and rains. Due to heavy wind, they aerodynamically designed the house in the shape of an egg. It was built using self-supporting curved galvalium sheets on the outside, insulated with polywool. These galvalium sheet are interlocking panels and are completely leak-proof. According to the duo, this solution can be used to build houses in low-lying areas which are prone to flooding and storms. I am calling it Danny's Ark. In case we get flooded, we can run into this house and escape. Maybe the only one of its kind since Noah's Ark from the Biblical times. Here's to hoping that climate change will not get to a point where we might need to mass produce this prototype. With temperatures touching the peak during summers, the heat in the house is only worsened because of the humidity, especially in coastal areas. To escape from the humidity, there is no other option but to install air conditioners. The biggest cost in a house maintenance is power. We explored a different uh, systems like gypsum paneling, uh, cold and hot rolled steels, and finally we came to EPS panel systems. Expanded polystyrene sheets or EPS panel systems is modern technology that allows for faster and economical house construction while keeping the heat out and maintaining the temperature inside. Anupa also designed the house with a high ceiling so that the wind flows through the house allowing maximum heat dissipation. We could reduce close to 50% usage of AC because of this technology. To offset the cost of running the air-conditioned house, he set up a floating solar unit. The idea behind a floating solar panel being that there is no shade to disrupt the sunlight and the water keeps the panel cooler increasing its throughput by about 15%. Heavy rains are not contributing to groundwater as the water runoffs into the river or lake and the heat combined is causing droughts. Daniel chose to install a 20,000 litre water tank underneath his house so that he could store the rainwater. He also set up a low-cost water treatment plant that could filter and use the water for all of their daily use, even for their automated drip irrigation. Once we started storing water, then I said, you know, we should use rainwater for everything. Due to shortage of water and high temperature, Farming vegetables on soil has become very difficult. So he used the rainwater for farming vegetables and fishes through hydroponics and aquaponics. A venture carried out by his wife, Maya Varghese. It allows them to grow their own vegetables without the need for soil. The water is circulated without any wastage other than in the form of evaporation. In the current gloom, Finding happiness in the arms of nature is key by adapting to our surroundings. This solution is not just an experiment, but a reality that anyone can achieve. But the most valuable experience that Daniel would like to impart is to help humanity to adapt to climate change and live sustainably. <laughs>